In this video, I'm going to talk all about the team section of the mapped in dashboard. So to access that, we just click the team tab in the top left. And it is worth noting that in order to invite users to this workspace, we need to make sure that we have one plus map. So we'll need to upgrade one free map to plus in order to unlock this feature. You can see here I've already invited my coworker Brian as an editor who's going to help me map all my buildings. And I'd like to send another invite as well. So we do that by clicking send invites in the top right. I'm going to enter his email. And I'd like to invite him as an admin who can manage maps as well as team members, whereas editors can only manage, manage and edit maps. If I'd like to invite multiple users at a time, I can do so by clicking add user. And this will allow me to enter a bunch of different emails at once and send all the invites at once. However, today I just want to send the one email. So I'm going to click send invites. And you can see here his email and then it says invite sent. Uh, if he didn't get it or didn't see it, I can choose to resend the email here. And if for some reason I would like to cancel the invite, I can do so by clicking this menu and by pressing cancel invite. It's also worth noting that I can change permissions of people I've already invited. So for example, if I wanted to change Brian to an admin, I can do so. And even if I want to change him to the owner of the workspace, I can do so. So if I do that, I'll get this modal that tells me that basically transferring ownership to him will make me an admin and I no longer have full control over the workspace. We don't want that, so I'm going to click cancel, but it's worth knowing that it is an option. And we can also search our team here if we need to. So if I wanted to find Brian directly, I can find him in the search bar there. And that's all about the mapped in team tab.